Picture of Snoopy. Sam and I decided to take Snoopy for a sightseeing tour of Galesburg. We started the day with breakfast at Trey's, then to Knox College to see where the Lincoln Douglas debate was held, then the birthplace of Carl Sandburg, then to the railroad hub to watch the trains come in and out, and then the train railroad museum. The day was finished with a ride on a John Deere tractor. Snoopy, Snoopy was excited to travel to visit the grand family after his day. So, Sister Bernadine, did Snoopy come to visit you? Snoopy came to Goreville, Illinois, located in the southernmost part of the state, a community called Little Egypt. It is believed that the area got the name from the biblical story of Israel going to Egypt to purchase grain after Southern Illinois supplied grain to Northern and Central Illinois during the 1800s. Also, many early settlers viewed the Mississippi River as America's Nile River. Nearby towns have the same names as those in Egypt, such as Thebes, Dongola, Karnak. Another is similar but pronounced differently, Cairo. Goreville is also located near a large body of water named Lake of Egypt, where Snoopy fished before moving on to his next adventure. Sister Jamie, did Snoopy come to visit you? Yes, Snoopy traveled to Moline, Illinois, which is about as far west in the state of Illinois as you can go without being in Iowa. And I first saw Snoopy and he was eating a big bowl of Whitey's world famous ice cream. And then he went on another ride on a John Deere tractor, which are built in Moline, Illinois. And then he traveled away on the tractor and I never saw him again. Sister Cindy, did Snoopy come to see you? Snoopy did come to see me. He visited Tuscola, Illinois, which is just south of the University of Illinois, about 22 miles, and he went to visit Flesser's Candy Kitchen and got to eat some of that wonderful ice cream, about 20 different flavors, and homemade candy. And then he was gone. I guess he got too full, maybe. So, Sister Becky, did Snoopy come to visit you? Well, Snoopy started out in my hometown of Hannah City, which is a blanket mess. But there's a great place called Gills that we all like to go to. Yes! <laughs> he had to have catfish. So then he came to where I currently live, Springfield, which is the capital of the, the state because there's tons of Lincoln sites, so he had to see them all. And then he had to go rub Lincoln's nose. And after that, he was like, I'm out of here. And so he left. Well, we'll see. Sister Missy, did Snoopy come to see you? Yes, he did. Uh, Snoopy came down and visited me um, in Lebanon, Illinois, which is about 25 miles east of St. Louis. And then we went to uh, Woods Bakery in O'Fallon. They are known for their donuts. And we had an awesome time. We got just about every kind there was and ate them all. And he had to leave. <laughs> Sister Cheryl, did Snoopy come to see you? Yes. Snoopy came to Crystal Lake. He was so excited because Crystal Lake has the annual cardboard regatta, but it's not time for the regatta. So he was sad and he left. <laughs> Sister Sue, did Snoopy come to visit you? Snoopy came to see me in Wasika, Illinois, which is on the east side of the state as far as you can get. And we went to see the old courthouse museum, 
And then we went to see um, a home that is known to be haunted in town, but unfortunately it wasn't open. And after that, he went on his way. Sister Lynn, did Snoopy come to see you? Well, I don't know if he came to see me, but I did run into him. It was around lunchtime or so, and I was going into Portillo's. And, you know, Snoopy must have been hungry, even though he had all that ice cream before. He had to get a good Chicago hot dog and a chocolate cake shake. And I think I saw a piece of chocolate cake sitting there, too, before I left. But I left him, and he was still there, so I don't know where he went. Good, good, good. Sister Rose, did Snoopy come to visit you? Yes. Snoopy arrived in Durand, Illinois also known as the outhouse capital. <laughs> and he proceeded to ascend the gazebo, newly remodeled in the, in the square at Duran. And he looked around and took in the $3 million makeover of Duran. And Duran is located pretty close to the Wisconsin border. We have it 17 miles to Broadhead from us. But well, I heard Snoopy say on the way out, that he was looking for his good pal, Woodstock. And after that, I don't know where he went. Brother Gene, did Snoopy come to visit you? Snoopy came to Jacksonville, Illinois, which is just west of Springfield a little bit. And, you know, there's a lot of things in Jacksonville that pertain to history. It was laid out in 1825. It was home to a sitting governor of Illinois in 1834. And I thought he was going to come to my house because my house is just two doors from the Governor Duncan Mansion. But do you know what he really wanted to see? He wanted to see the Eli Bridge Company, the 100-year-old uh, corporation that makes big Eli Ferris wheels merry mixers, scramblers, and other amusement rides. So he was busy riding the rides, and I left him there. And I don't know what happened. Sister Brenda, did Snoopy come to visit you? Snoopy was here in Quincy, Illinois, which is on the western border of Illinois. It is right on the Mississippi River. And while he was here, he visited the John Wood Mansion, which was the home of the founder of Quincy, who later became the 11th governor of the state of Illinois. Then he got really thirsty, and Quincy's a German town, so he decided to uh, visit Dick's Brother Brewery. And he had a nice cold glass of beer, decided that maybe before he got in trouble, he should head down the road. I'm not sure where he went, though. Sister Pam, did Snoopy come to visit you? Well, I actually ran into Snoopy at the county courthouse where I work, and he was on the porch, and he was looking at the world's largest gavel. And he was so excited about that, and I said, oh, well, then you need to come with me. So we went to Casey, Illinois, which is where I live, and we are known for the big things in a small town. We have all these World Guinness big items. So we went to visit the mailbox and the, let's see, where did he go next? Oh, the wind chimes and the rocking chair and he saw the wooden shoes and all this other stuff. Well, the last place he kind of stopped was at the bird cage. And I think he was afraid that maybe we were going to put Woodstock in the bird cage. So he was actually in there and couldn't get out. So. Tinkerbell sprinkled her magic dust, and while nobody was looking, Stitch let him out, so we don't know where he went. <laughs> Sister Sheila, did Snoopy come to visit you? Yes, Snoopy did come all the way up to Arlington Heights to come visit, and then he hopped on the blue line and headed into Chicago because he wanted to see the Chicago sights. You know, so he attended a Cubs game oh, and, and a White Sox game. Yeah. You know, looked at Soldier Field and the museums, caught a play, and then on his way out of town, he stopped at Garrett's Popcorn. Oh, and got the Chicago blend of popcorn, and from there, I don't know. Well, Brother Mark, did Snoopy come to see you? He did. 
We spent a good day together. We started out with breakfast at our local lodge, Masonic Lodge, and then we watched a parade, and then we went over and watched uh, at our town celebration where they make burgoo, which I had to explain to him it's basically a vegetable soup, but with chicken instead of beef. And it looked so good to him, we decided to have a bowl. So by the time we was done with that, we were pretty much waddling. So we decided we probably ought to walk some of that off. So we walked down to the river. And uh, in the area where I'm talking about is a, a small town, about 500 people, uh, called Chandlerville, Illinois, which is kind of west central Illinois, uh, north of Jacksonville. And we watched some of the eagles. And he realized that I, I like eagles. And so when we got back home, he, he said, I've got a gift for you. I've, I've got an eagle for you. And so, uh, but I've got to tell you folks, this is the strangest looking eagle that I've ever seen in my life. I think he called it Woodstock. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I'll have to Google it. That was Snoopy's Adventure. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as I have Snoopy here, if you can't see, Snoopy has an Alzheimer's badge, which he's out promoting Alzheimer's in Illinois.